Here we are on Thursday, April 19th, I think it is, 2018, about 7 p.m. And we have an 18% waxing crescent moon up here in the daytime sky. It's way up there. About uh, 55 degrees above the horizon. You can see it uh, with the trees. It's in the southwest. And it's yet another surprise to get anything today. I woke up this morning to snowflakes coming down and total gray skies. But then something happened and it cleared out. The sun actually came out. It's over there. The tripod's cockeyed. That's why it looks so uh, out of whack there. But with the uh, moon so high up, I have to really move the legs down. But uh, I'm not sure if I can get the sun at this angle. Let me try. There, I had to put it up right. Well, it's going to be cut off by the house, it looks like. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, so there we are upright, and that's why it's, uh, looks cut off because of the house. So, anyway, yeah, it cleared up here. But it's still pretty cool out, about uh, 43 degrees here in northeastern Ohio. I am disappointed in last night after getting the sun yesterday from the clearing, then it didn't take long, probably about an hour later, the clouds rolled in, so there's the southeast that way, so I cannot believe the sky has cleared out. Because most of you know about that solid gray cloud cover we get anymore. I really wanted to get the crescent because it would have been real close to, after the sunset, it would have been close to uh, Venus and the Pleiades out of Bran and all that, and I wanted to get that shot, but if things hold up here, I might be able to get uh, a few things, but but not quite what I had hoped for last night. The way things are going, though, anything's better than nothing. Well, I keep losing the uh, moon by eye because of the sun, but uh, it's it's over there by the tree buds. Okay, we might try in a bit after the sun goes down. Try to get a few more planets and who knows what. So I hope you're all doing well and take care now. Bye. Well, believe it or not, the sky held up much different than yesterday. <laughs> so now the sun is set about two minutes ago. It's after 8 p.m. here. And the crescent, which is now about uh, almost 19%, will come in a bit better. Try to go in a bit. It's still a bit too early for the uh, planets and stars to come out, but it should get dark pretty soon. I just didn't want to miss this in the dusky blue sky where it comes in pretty good. Okay, that should do it until the uh, planets come out. All right, I hope to be back. Bye now. Okay, I'm going to go in and put the other camera up.
battery's almost dead on the cannon. I don't know why. All right. 43 degrees, but it feels like it's uh, below freezing. <laughs> it's nearly 8.30 p.m. The moon's uh, in the west. It is now up 39 degrees above the horizon and 18.8% illuminated, so call it 19%. Uh, Venus should, there's Venus. All right, popped up. Let me put this iPad down. Okay, it's above the light. Hmm. Okay, and an out of focus Venus. <laughs> okay, we did the light trick. And if I'm not mistaken, um, Venus is supposed to be more than three quarters full. to double check and look but I think it's uh in the 90 percent all right okay I shut off the I had it on uh, auto exposure lock and there's crescent Still don't see any stars by eye. Just these two. Yeah, it's a disappointment. I wanted them last night when they were closer together. Uh, finally, I see Sirius popped up. That's it so far. I'm not sure if we can see it. It's to the left of that chimney. I think the video will pick it up. I just put a e lock on. Let me see what happens when we go out. The sky will very the sky will be very dark, yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. So there we have Venus. That's about as good as we'll get it in, so we'll undo the lock. So we can see the uh, true colors of the sky. And you know what? I'm getting old. And it's cold out here, so I'm not going to wait for the stars, I don't believe. Doggone it. <laughs> So on this note, I'm going to wish you all a great night. Hey, Friday's coming and the weekend. Take care now. Bye.